Hi everyone, how are you? It's Verity here and I'm taking you on another little journey today. We are going down to the La Padrera Lakes, which is where we walk the dogs quite often. And I thought I'd bring you along because it's such a beautiful place to, to walk and there's so much history there. And um, yeah, so we get to see the doggies and we will be walking with uh, a friend of ours, Paul, and his doggies as well. So you get to see lots of fairy friends. And um, yeah, this is just our, we're on our way now. Here's the view. And um, I would have thought, cue, uh, earthly music or something like that. Just arrived, and as you can hear, it's a bit chaotic at this point. You can see all our little fairy friends are just about to come up the road. And here, Fuzzy and Ted, Ted. And if you film Beth, and we'll get to see my precious little Lola. I've split up from the group because I thought I would come this way and um, just inform you about some facts about um, the Pedrera Lake. So first of all, um, if you've never been here before, you'd think that this is normally how it looks, but it isn't. We have suffered a terrible drought. It's about less than, I think, 30% 30, 30 full. And um, usually the water would be, I mean, up to where I'm standing right now. So all of this, all of over, over there that you can see, everything would be underwater and to be honest it would have been up there it would have probably finished up there somewhere so that's why the kind of the ground looks a bit odd and sort of yeah just kind of scary it looks very scary when the sun's gone down i've been here that time and that was terrifying but um yeah so i'm going to take you further down and then i'm going to tell you a few other facts so uh speak to you in a bit lazy for now here we are where um we used to come down here in the summer last year and it was a lot fuller than this the uh, the lake um but it's gone down dramatically in the past six months and we used to sit here and just watch the dogs swim in the lake which you will see in a minute but um the only thing about it being back so much is that a lot of people come down for barbecues which is wonderful and we would if we could but sometimes they don't clear up after, the, after themselves which is a bit sad um, as you can see, somebody's had a nice barbecue, but thankfully they have cleared up after themselves, so that's nice. Um, there's no bottles or plastic or anything around here, if I see the... That isn't good, but I've noticed for the first time ever that new growth has started, which I suppose it will be doing due to the fact that the, um, the earth just, I suppose, replenishes itself and and starts growing new trees and shrubs and stuff, but I cannot tell you. I used to sit in the water with just dipping my toes and the water would start about here. And I used to sit on this rock and feel like the little mermaid and just dip my toes in and look out and it'd be the beautiful sunset and it'd be a beautiful blue lake. But there is no more, because um, it used to go all the way up there and round. But now it's kind of dry, but oh well. Um, I will keep walking along and yes.
Another interesting fact is that this um, lake wasn't always here. I don't know how long ago they uh, they did it, but um, they flooded a village named Torremendo to be able to have this lake here. The village was moved up the road there, which is just behind that little mountain there. And um, yeah, they flooded it. And there's actually, which you will see later, the old road which used to lead from um, the village over there. Um, it has become visible due to the fact that it has dried out so much. It's become you can go right all the way up to the um, to the village and the, the old entrance, which is amazing, absolutely fab. And um, ever since it's been drying out, we have been finding all sorts of odd things, um, old cars. There was an, a really old car just over there, and um, bricks. We found an old well. An old, a really old well. It was um, the water still comes out, which I'll show you all later. But it is very, very strange to think that underneath all this water there lies, I suppose, the Atlantis in uh, in the Pedreras, <laughs> in the Pedreras sort of little way. Um, but no, it's awesome, and that weird, weird noise you can hear are seagulls. Because um, there are fish in here. There's um, carp and other fish that I don't know the names of, but people come down here quite often and fish. And yes, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on and we'll continue the little tour. You should be in your daddy's car, not in my car. Little straight mouth. Hey, bat dog. You should be in uh, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> so cute. The road that I was telling you about a few minutes ago. Well, this is it. This is the old road to Toromendo. And um, all of that used to be covered in water. And now we can just go straight through and people are using the old road actually, which is nice. And I'm going to show you now the um, out water outlet that is going to help um, try and fill the lake up. I think the lake is, well the way it is now, is thanks to these um, little outlets. They're all spread everywhere. Um, but they're actually very good fun because in the summer we all like to come in here and just have a little dip because the water comes straight down from the mountains into the um, canals and it gets diverted down here to hopefully fill the lake up which it is kind of doing but it's drying out quick more quickly than it is filling it up sadly but we always like to come down here and have a little uh, swim in the summer because it's absolutely boiling and the dogs and um, this is great fun if you come down here with a lilo and sort of hang on or with a woggle and then go flying down there it's great and it actually goes all the way round and down there so it's super super cool hi guys so we have just arrived home and uh, we are a little bit sleepy um, but I really really hope that you enjoyed the uh, our little excursion out to the La Pedrera Reservoir it really is such a beautiful place to go even if you're just going to go down there and watch the sunset or just 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 to go for a little stroll please do because it is you know it's a little hidden gem that it really is 
Um, but I'm going to love you and leave you now with uh, my little clip of the dogs absolutely sound asleep. They are shattered and um, they look quite cute when they're asleep. So I think they've overdone themselves too much um, going catching the stick in the water and stuff. Um, but if you like what you saw, then please like, subscribe and do all the YouTube -y stuff that they do. And um, yeah, stay tuned for future little vlogs. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this latest one. All right. I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye for now.